Hello, I'm Kimberly Davis. I hope that your day is off to a great start. Let's take a look at what's trending for March 4th. Well, it was indeed a super Tuesday for former Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Bernie Sanders. Wasn't too shabby either. Both presidential hopefuls picked up a lot of pledged delegates. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg didn't leave empty handed. He won American Samoa, but sources say he is reassessing his campaign. However, Senator Elizabeth Warren lost her home state of Massachusetts. The president also collected delegates on Super Tuesday. There's more of what's trending after the break. You're the one that I love. You need somebody to be. My person. I'm saying goodbye. Welcome back. A virus epidemic that started in China about two months ago is now tightening its grip around the globe. In the U.S., the death toll has increased to nine. Neighboring states, Georgia and North Carolina, have confirmed cases. Meanwhile, the White House is asking lawmakers for $1.5 billion in emergency funding to fight the virus. On this day in women's history, Jeanette Rankin took her seat as the first female member of Congress in 1917. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with Patricia Heaton, Draymond Green, and the late Bobby Christina Brown. Disney and Pixar's Onward is coming to theaters Friday. Rated PG. <laughs> With all that's going on in politics and the coronavirus, we all need a little reprieve, right? Well, Netflix says it will turn L.A. into the funniest place on Earth at least for one week. David Letterman, Whoopi Goldberg, Dave Chappelle, Amy Schumer, and Sarah Silverman are among those taking the stage during the Netflix is a joke fest. The festival will feature more than a hundred shows at 20 different venues and runs from April 27th to May 3rd. That's right around the time of my birthday, Keneal. So hint, hint, <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for your service. Choose kindness. I'm Kimberly Davis and have a great day.